Hey guys, this is Jom and welcome to Civil Raja, your gateway to future. So guys, in today's session, we are going to talk about how can we make the center line of a plan. So first of all, we need to finalize the architectural plan and you can see here is my architectural plan. So what you can see in this that I have already placed the columns over here and next move will be making the beam layout okay so first of all column is placed and then beam layout is made and once our beam column layout is finalized then we make the center line diagram so in making the center line diagram there are two different approaches to that and we are going to talk about both approaches in today's session so first of all let's count the number of columns over here so the number of columns is one two three four 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I have placed 14 different columns in this 1100 square feet of the area. Okay, so let's start with the center line marking. So first of all, I need to turn off the layers. So I will just turn off all the unnecessary things over here so that I can just create the walls from here. You can see I have not put the column in the right layer. So I have just changed the layer of that and then once I will turn off all the layers and accept my walls and columns, then I will simply make a copy of it and then I will switch to the beam layer. So I've already created the beam layer. If you have not created that, then you can create it first. Okay. And then I will have to mark the beams. So initially I am just starting with a 10 by 10 column. So that means 10 inches by 10 inches of the column. And uh, I am expecting my beams to be having uh, the width of uh, 10 inches okay the depth can vary so that depends upon the, how the structural design results will come and i will try to make the video on how to do the structural design of everything so if you are new to the channel then subscribe to civil raja because this channel is going to be very informative for you if you are uh, like uh, trying to make your career in the structural design field and if you want to go for the professional training then you can also go with that okay now you can see here i have a created the beam layout and almost all my uh, like walls are inside my beam so that uh, like uh, happened because i have like uh, made the plan perfectly and if you want to learn the planning also then you can simply join my professional training the details of my training will be there in the description so you can check that out after the uh, this video is over now i am just using my x line because x line are the infinite lines and that helps me to draw uh, the center lines wherever i want and then i will just uh, simply make a rectangle and then i will simply uh, like uh, make the offsets and now it's time to mark the dimensions so you can see i am marking the dimensions in two different ways over here so first of all i am just going from a to b then a to c a to d that's my first approach and that i will mark for the horizontal uh a dimension as well as a vertical dimension so i marked in both the directions and now my next move is to uh, like uh, mark the units in mm also because uh, whenever we have to work on the start pro then we uh, need to just enter the dimensions in si unit however it also allows us to uh, like uh, work with the english unit that means the feet and inches but uh, i don't use that uh, because uh, in india we basically go for the metric system and in the metric system what our uh, software understands is mm and meters okay so basically i have to enter the coordinates in meters not in mm so you can either go for the mm or you can go for like meter unit over here okay now you can see i have uh, marked the center line over here and uh, almost all the uh, like uh, names of the axis has been marked over here so this is very simple to do and uh, you can learn to do it quickly by joining my professional training uh, the number will be also in my screen and uh, you can simply call or whatsapp me on that number and now you can see i am just uh, checking for the precisions that uh, i'm not uh, deviated in taking the dimensions over here now i will go for another approach of marking the dimensions that is a to b then b to c b uh, c to d that's another way of doing it now what i will do i, I have all, already marked the like uh, dimensions in two different units that is fit and inches and in mm right so basically uh this is a project of bihar and over there the people ask for fit and inches drawing not the the metric system is not being followed over here that means the meter or uh, the millimeters are not uh, uh being used over, over here so i need to give them the markings in the this particular fit and inches a thing 
otherwise if you will talk about the accuracy uh, usually the mm is the more accurate unit than inches okay now what you can see over here i'm just uh, modifying the same beam column layout for my ground floor so basically on my ground floor i don't have uh, like much walls i have just the boundary walls and uh, then in the back area i need to provide some walls so wherever is necessary i'm just uh, providing the beams over there and then you can see this is another approach so earlier what i have done i have uh, taken the like a uh, top left corner as a zero zero coordinate now what i'm doing over here i am just uh, using my column for the reference and that's the uh that will be my zero zero coordinate so there are two different ways of marking the coordinates i think you understood it if you have any kind of confusion you can simply just um uh contact me okay or you can simply just uh, leave this in your comment section and everything will be good for you so i have prepared the uh, like a beam column layout for ground floor as well as first floor okay so you can see on the ground floor i have very less beams in competition to the first floor why this happened that i will explain in another video and for that what you have to do you have to simply uh like uh, subscribe to civil raja hit the like button to this video and then press the bell icon so that whenever i upload the next part of this video then you get notified easily so guys see you in the next session till then stay tuned to civil raja thank you guys